In a span of one week, three reports reached our news desk of robberies perpetrated against students of the Leon Hess Secondary School. While the seemingly targeted robberies have been limited to school children, the president of the National Council on Public Transport, Godfrey Ferdinand, is calling on law officials to get immediate control of the situation. We have not had incidents like that for a while. If it, the fact that it has happened is unfortunate. We are hoping that with the police and the Ministry of Education and the present association, we can at least work on resolving that issue or trying to minimize it. It is something that used to happen before on, on some of the school routes, um, Convent, the Hess Hill, but with the patrol, the police patrol in these areas, that had actually stopped. So obviously we would have to have a discussion with the police to try to increase the patrol to minimize um, such incidents. The robbery of one of the students elicited calls from his parent for the total relocation of the bus facilities that service the students of Leon Hess and Andripo Secondary Schools and St. Joseph's Convent. No, that's not, a, that's not uh, something that can easily happen. Um, however, it, it's actually it, it's in the best area that it can be because it's out the outskirt of the city. Um, what it calls for is for us to maybe better manage the security aspect of it. But in terms of relocation, it's going to be a hard call. Ferdinand is calling on students, drivers and passengers to remain attentive to lessen the chances of being easy targets. All it requires is for the children themselves to be more vigilant. And secondly, for there to be an increase in police presence, the security aspect. And obviously, the operators would assist in the children being more aware or actually defending the children, protecting the children we, who, who indeed are their customers. Concerned parents hope that going public with the accounts of episodic bout of armed robberies of students will spur law enforcement officials to action. Sola Jalford, HTS News Force.